بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته According to what we have learned so far about COVID-19, this disease, the virus is thought to be transmitted mostly through droplets when the infected person coughs or sneezes. And so he releases these droplets and whoever happens to be near him or her, they end up inhaling those droplets and as a result, they become infected. Or that person who is infected, he may sneeze or cough and those droplets, they land on a surface. And somebody else who happens to be passing by, he touches that surface with his hands and then he he touches his face and he inhales those droplets. And so this is how the virus is spreading. Based on this, what health officials today are advising is to make sure that whenever we cough or we sneeze, to cover our mouth. Because if we happen to be infected, that we won't spread it to others. And this is exactly what our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us over 1400 years ago. And so Abu Huraira Radiallahu An, he narrates that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whenever he would sneeze, he would cover his mouth with his hand or with a garment, with a piece of cloth. And so, this is something that Islam teaches us already. Another thing is concerning washing our hands. And so as we said, these droplets, they come out of the infected person when he sneezes, for example, and then they may land on a surface, on a table, on whatever, and then you happen to be passing by, and so, you end up you end up getting infected with that disease by touching that surface and then inhaling it into your body reflect over the following hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said when one of you wakes up from his sleep he must not put his hand in a utensil until he washes his hands three times, for he does not know where his hand was. Meaning, while he was asleep, he doesn't know what he may have touched. Now think of what we are being told nowadays. The importance of washing our hands frequently. It's because you don't know where your hands have been. You don't know what you may have touched. And so the virus, it spreads. When a person touches a surface or an object that is contaminated with infectious droplets and then he touches his mouth or his nose or his eyes. And so washing our hands this frequently, when you don't know where your hand may have been, you don't know what you may have touched. For example, when you're sleeping, the Prophet ﷺ advised us when we get up from our sleep, to wash our hands. And he mentioned the reason for that. And so all of this, what does it show us? It shows us the wisdom behind what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated, of laws, of legislations. And it shows us how Islam is without a shadow of a doubt, the truth from the creator of all that exists. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect each and every single one of us and grant us all good health. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.